joined right now by Austin Partain from Century 21, Abigail Adams down in the Quincy market. Austin, let's let's talk about finding the right agent. Okay. okay? Um, there's so many options out there. There's a lot of real estate agents, yes. some full-time, some part-time. It's yes. tough to really differentiate sometimes who the right agent for you is. So sure. how do you suggest connecting with the right agent? Well, first of all, talk to friends and family. See if they've used someone recently. And if they had and they had a good experience, I think that's the best way to go. If they've had a good experience, why not use that particular agent? Obviously, you want to meet with them and make sure that you guys can tr you know, get along, trust, you want to be able to trust that agent. So you have to be on the same page. Um, you can go online as well. Look at reviews that people are leaving for agents. Um, are they full-time or part-time? I think full-time is extremely important in the market that we're in today. It's a very strong market and everything's fast paced. So. And what people don't realize is that you're really entering into a relationship, yes. right? It's almost yeah. like, in a weird way, like a dating situation. Very much so, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, this, when it comes to a real estate agent, they're really almost your financial advisor f for this home, right? So like you use a financial advisor, you use them one to help you invest in different stocks, mutual funds, whatever it may be. For a real estate agent, we're helping you invest nearly hundreds of thousands of dollars on this tangible investment. So again, it's, in, it's important that you want to make sure you find the right agent um, in order to help you do that. Okay, so for the person out there that thinks that they've found the right person, whether it's online, mm -hmm. through a family member, a friend, when you connect with that person, what questions should you be asking them? Are you full-time? How long have you been in the business? How many houses have you sold? What you also want to ask about the office? How long have they been in the area? Um, so those are, I think, the first maybe three or four questions that I would ask if I'm looking to hire an agent. All makes sense, and mm -hmm. it's one of those things that you know you want to be upfront and honest and yes. ask those questions because you're entering into a relationship. And again, we're talking about a several hundred thousand dollars, the largest investment probably your entire life. You want to make sure that you like the person that you're working with. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. Thank you, Austin. <laughs> and if you're in the Quincy area and would like to connect with Austin directly, you can go to his website at austinpartain.com. And remember, we have more buyer and seller tips right here on our page on Boston.com.